Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And in today's episode, the title, the topic is, would the Clippers be in the finals if Kawhi Leonard was healthy? So that's the topic I want to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Also, make sure you go ahead and check out Dreamers Pro Max an online sports community that we created a place where you can go and start basketball discussions chat live during games and so many other cool things so if you guys are interested in that be sure to check that out we have that linked in the description below and also make sure you go ahead and click the join button to join the channel to receive loyalty badges from us so anyway man oh man i saw the game yesterday uh the clippers their 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 championship hopes have finally come to an end i saw the game uh it was it was disappointing but i wasn't as disappointed as some people are like, I noticed some people are a bit disappointed. And listen, I think a lot of people need to put things into perspective. Let's just be honest. The Clippers had no business making it this far. They had no business making it this far, right? When you're missing three of your best players, you shouldn't be playing this deep into the playoffs. So for the simple fact that the Clippers made it this far, you got to just be grateful and say, wow, we had a hell of a season. We fought. I think this was the only double digit uh, a blowout loss that they had in the entire playoffs. How many teams can say that? So the Clippers did a great job. But, um, you know, it ju they just had some unfortunate injuries. Now, going into the season, I always felt like the Clippers and the Lakers were the two best teams in the Western Conference. I've said this religiously for the entire season, right? I, I always felt that way. And I always felt that somehow, some way, these two teams would be the two teams that would be in the Western Conference Finals, at least for the yeah, in the Western Conference Finals, duking it out to go to the, you know, to the championship. And I always felt that the Clippers would ultimately be the team that made it to the, you know, to the championship um, round because I always felt they had the deepest team. I felt like they had one of the best coaches in the league. And I felt like they had the best player in the world in my and in, in Kawhi Leonard, in my opinion. Now, some people feel that maybe LeBron or KD is the best player. Have at it. That's that's everyone. Everyone has the right to feel who they who, you know, who, who's the best player. That's 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 totally fine. Um, I certainly picked them to come out of the West, though, right? And going into this, going into the first round, the Clippers were tested. They got down 0-2 to the what's the team to the Dallas Mavericks, and I think is I think everyone I think is clear as day that the Clippers don't even make it out of round one if it wasn't for the heroics of Kawhi Leonard. The Clippers don't make it out of round one. He just literally put that team on his back, and I think in that game six when he went for 40, I mean it was just it was just incredible. And he willed that team back. And ultimately, they were able to advance to the second round. Then they get to the second round and they go down 0-2, but this time on the road, two very winnable games again. And then they come back and then they mark and then they and then Kawhi Leonard does his thing. You know, Kawhi Leonard it's Kawhi, right? And he helps the team tie up the series 2-2 before he ultimately gets um, you know, um he, he gets injured. Uh he gets injured. But before Kawhi Leonard did get injured. I'm here to say that I think he was having his best year ever in the playoffs. This is just my opinion. Now, if we look at his stats this season uh, in the playoffs, he was averaging, playing 39 minutes, he was averaging 30.4 points per game, which is exactly virtually the same amount of points he was averaging that year with the Toronto Raptors in the uh, uh, when he made that championship run. He was shooting 57.3% from the field. I think that's the number one field goal percentage in the, in the playoffs for, player, for a player attempting over 19 shots per game. I believe it. he has the highest or he had the highest field goal percentage. I think behind him was Kevin Durant or Joel Embiid. He was shooting 39% from the three, 88% from the free throw line, getting you 7.7 rebounds per game, 4.4 assists, and 2.1 steals per game. Kawhi Leonard was huge all playoffs long, and, you know, he was basically carrying his team, right? Every single night he was efficient. If he was inefficient, it would, it would, it would be a shocker. I think there were some games he was shooting 70% from the field. It was, it was just absurd right it was absurd the game that you saw paul george go 15 of 20 from the field shooting 75 percent Kawhi had a bunch of those type of games right he had a bunch of those type of games especially in games where the team uh needed needed him um the most but when 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 the clippers when they lost him in game four you know the clippers really came together they banded together and they went out there into utah in game five and i think they gave their most inspired performance of the season they went down there after just hearing the news that their best player is not going to be available, going to going into Utah, a place they had not won this entire playoffs, and they go in there and gut out a game five victory with Paul George and 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 Reggie Jackson and these guys playing inspired basketball and Ty Lue coaching his tail off. 
they go in there and pull out a win and then they ultimately come back home and in game six i think this guy was hobbled uh, donovan mitchell i think uh what's his name mike conley had come back i don't think he obviously he wasn't he wasn't 100 of himself and then they ultimately ended up getting uh, winning that game to advance to the third round, right? Against all odds. Because let's just face it, most people pick them to lose after they lost Kawhi Leonard. Then they get to the third round and, you know, they go to Phoenix and they lose two close games. One of them was at a was at a buzzer beater off of an alley-oop, tip dunk or whatever it is by DeAndre Ayton. And you're like, man, they were so close. Then they came home, they won game three. Then they ultimately lost game four. And then they went on the road and won game five. And then yesterday, they uh, they lost game six. And I think game six was the only, only, only blowout game that the Clippers had. And I was saying to myself, and I said it all throughout the series, and I said, listen, I am 100% confident of the fact that if Kawhi Leonard was playing in these games, these games would, have, would not have been close. I feel like the Clippers would have beat the Suns in five games. In five games, these two teams played each other three times in a regular season. The only time that the Clip the Suns were able to beat the Clippers was when Kawhi Leonard did not play. He they played him three three times. He played two of them. He, he didn't play the third one, and they lost. That was the only time that the Clippers lost against the Phoenix Suns. I didn't feel like I, the Suns were good, but they just were not in the same tier as the Clippers. And you could see that it was clear as day when the Clippers were missing three starters. The Suns were barely able to beat the Clippers. They should have beat the Clippers in five. To be honest, it took them six. They were missing Avitsa Zubak. They were missing Serge Ibaka. And they were missing their, be their best player, and in my opinion, the best player in the world. And the Clippers still took that thing six six games. I have I feel 100% certain that this series would not have been close if Kawhi Leonard played because he's the one guy they couldn't account for. You couldn't say, oh, Kawhi Leonard was going to have a mental lapse or he was, gonna, he was the one guy that was going to show up no matter what every single night because he, he had been doing it all playoffs long. And that's pretty much what he's been doing for his entire career in the playoffs. Reason why he's a two-time finals uh, MVP. Now, at the end of the game, I heard that Paul George is being criticized for telling the truth. They said, I think he said something to the effect of the Clippers would have absolutely won if Kawhi Leonard was playing. And they were like, that's an excuse. No, it's the reality. It's the flat out reality. It's the reality. No one here is going to tell me otherwise. Oh, the Clipper. No, no, it's the, it's a flat out reality. He was the best player on the floor. And if he played, it would have won. Period. End of story. No one is going to, even a Phoenix Suns fan. And it's not, oh, we're making this. No, it's the reality. If you ask him the question, he's going to give you the answer. That's the reality. Would you have won this series if Kawhi Leonard played? Yes. Who, who thinks otherwise? Who's the person that watched this series with their two eyeballs they will feel like, oh, this series could have gone another way. No, it, it couldn't have. It couldn't have. Go look at the shooting percentages of players throughout this, this series. Go look at the shooting percentage Paul George and these guys were shooting and all. And Marcus Morris said, go look. You think Kawhi Leonard would have been shooting in the low 40s in this series? How? Who? Who are they going to put on him? Crowder? Who are they going to put on him? So, absolutely 100%. If Kawhi Leonard were healthy, this team would be in the finals. I don't have it. Now, some people can say that about other teams. If AD was healthy, the Lakers would be in the finals. Probably so. But in this particular video, <laughs> we're talking about Kawhi Leonard. So this is the argument I'm making for him. I'm not making an argument for other teams. And some people say, well, Kawhi Leonard, he got lucky because when he went to the when he went to the finals, he played a Golden State Warriors without KD and uh, what's his name? And um, Clay Thompson was in and out of the lineup. Granted. Before he got to the finals, who did he have to play in the Eastern in the Eastern Conference? What are the teams that he had to play? I think he played the Orlando Magic, who they beat in five. Then who's the next team they played? They played against who? They played against the Philadelphia 76ers, J.J. Redick, Joel Embiid, um, Ben Simmons, Jimmy Butler. He beat them, right? They were all there. Was anybody missing in those series? Did, did you see? Did you see anybody missing in those series? When they went to the Eastern Conference Finals, when they picked them to lose, was the Anaconda Tacumpo healthy? Yeah. Was Chris Middleton healthy? Yeah. Was Brooke Lopez healthy? Yeah. The guy that they have from, um, uh, he plays with the Indiana Pacers. I forgot his name. Um, they had a player. Uh, I forgot his name. He was there. All of these guys were there, and they beat him right in six games. Right. So Kawhi's already. It's not going to work for Kawhi. That argument. It's not going to work. 
<laughs> right? He's, it's just not going to work. He has proven he can lead teams to championships, and there's no way you're going to convince me that if Kawhi Leonard plays, they lose to the Suns. No way. I'm sorry. Devin Booker was not Kobe-esque this series. He didn't. He certainly didn't have that efficiency. Now, the Suns won. You congratulate them. Congratulations to them. But the, the premises of this video is, would the Clippers be in the finals if Kawhi Leonard was healthy? I feel that way 100%. Because the truth is, these playoffs, they never lost when he played. Lost meaning they never lost any series when he played. So I absolutely feel that. And I think most people feel that. I think some people felt like, oh, because Terrence Mann had that big game and then Paul George had that big game, some people felt, oh, maybe the Clippers are better without Kawhi. I hope this makes it very clear to you that the Clippers were not better without Kawhi Leonard at all. I, I, I don't even know what would make people think that. Maybe prisoners of the moment. So these are my thoughts. And, um, you know, you can say, well, you know, Kawhi Leonard got, you know, the Kawhi Leonard got health, uh, got, got lucky those years. But what about the Suns? Round one, the Suns, they played against the Lakers. Did the Lakers have Anthony Davis? That was, was he healthy? No. Then they go against the second round. They go play against the Denver Nuggets. You think they sweep them if Jamal Murray was healthy? Be serious. Be serious. They don't sweep them if Jamal Murray's healthy. Then you come and play the Clippers and you're missing three starters, Serge, Zubak, and Kawhi Leonard. And I'm supposed to feel like, oh, the, Su the, the Suns will still beat them if they had. You bugging. No way. No way. No way. Congratulations to them. But they don't beat the Clippers if Kawhi Leonard is healthy. Period. End of story. That's what I think. You can feel any way you want to feel about it. Those are my thoughts and opinions on that. So whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever. Oh, and real quick, let me just say this. Dudes, it be chat. Why, why are you smacking your mouth? Yo, I never hear these comments from, from chicks. Why are you watching the way I talk? Stop acting weird. <laughs> Catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.